This guided practice is about working with natural logarithms to um, solve equations um, including logarithms and exponentials to give our answers an exact form. So the first question says solve these equations giving your answers in exact form. So exact form, we know that our answers are not going to be rounded to any form of significant figures or decimal places. In the previous lesson, we were taking logarithms with a base 10 and then rounding our answers. For this lesson, we want it in exact form. So we're going to work with natural logarithms. That's a logarithm with a base of E in order to get those answers in exact form. Form. So the key information from the input slide I have written here, we, um, you were given a graph that showed you that the um, graph of y equals e to the power of x is the inverse of the graph of y equals ln x, that natural logarithm with base e. So if we take the exponential of that natural logarithm, we're going to get x because they are inverse functions. So the first one, we've got e to the power of x is equal to 5. We're going to take the natural logarithm of both sides. So we're going to do ln of e to the power of x is equal to ln 5. Remember that ln of n, a number, x, is equal to that natural logarithm where the base is e. So ln e to the power of x, we've got here that that is equal to x. So x is equal to ln 5. So x is equal to the natural logarithm of 5. And that is an answer in exact form. Because if we then typed that into our calculator, ln 5 we'd get this number here. So we're not going to round it, we're going to leave it in its exact form. The second part to this question, we've got ln x is equal to 3. We're going to take the exponential of each side so that we get x on its own. So the exponential of ln x is equal to the exponential of 3, e to the power of 3. Now, e ln x, that is equal to x. So we've got x on the left hand side is equal to e to the power of 3. Again, that answer is leaving it in exact form. If I was to write in my calculator um, e to the power, oops, to the power of 3, we'd get this number here. So we're not rounding it, we're leaving it in its exact For our second guided practice, we've now got some um, powers of E that are expressions in terms of X, or we've got um, some logarithms with coefficients in front of them, and some um, equations where there are two terms with e to the power of x as a common factor. So this is going to just include a few more steps, but it's exactly the same method as before. So for the first one, we've got e to the power of 2x plus 3 equals 7. We know that e, uh, the ln sorry, of e to the power of x is equal to x. So if we take a logarithm the natural logarithm of an exponential, we're going to um, end up with our uh, unknown variable x, which is the uh, what we would need to find the value of. So we're going to take the natural logarithm of both sides. So when we take the natural logarithm of e to the power of 2x plus 3, we get that power of e, 2x plus 3, is equal to ln 7. We've now got an equation in terms of x. Remember, ln 7 is just a number. So that is equal to this decimal here. So we don't need to solve anything for this logarithm here. That is just a number. 
similar to pi being a number. Um, so we're going to just solve this in terms of x. We're going to start by subtracting 3 from both, si both sides. And we get 2x is equal to natural logarithm of 7, subtract 3, and then divide by 2. And we get x is equal to ln7, subtract 3, divided by 2. And we've left our answer in its exact form by not rounding that logarithm of 7 to any decimal places or significant figures. For the second part of this question, we've got 2 uh, ln x plus 1 is equal to 5. So I'm going to start by um, rearranging this to make um, ln x the subject. So subtract 1 from both sides and we get 2 ln x is equal to 4. Then divide by 2 and we get ln x is equal to 2. Now remember our um, actual meaning of a logarithm. We know that if we've got log base a n equals x, that is exactly the same as a to the power of x equals n. So here we've got log base e, because we're looking at that natural logarithm, of x equals 2, which means e, which is our value of a, to the power of x, which is actually that 2 there, is equal to x. So we can rewrite this as x is equal to e to the power of 2. So that's using what we've learned previously. In the input slide that you saw at the beginning of this lesson, we saw that um, the exponential is the inverse. So a step we could have done in between that would be to take the exponential of ln x is equal to the exponential of that side. So taking the exponential of both sides, we've done the inverse, which means we just end up with x equals e squared. Part C we've got this equation in terms of e to the power of x. So we've got here, if we subtract 14 from both sides, we have actually got a quadratic. So if we let y equal e to the power of x, we can rewrite this equation in terms of y e to the power of 2x, that is exactly the same as y squared. Because when we square e to the power of x, we multiply the power by 2. We've got plus 5y, and we're subtracting 14, which is equal to 0. We can factorise this quadratic in terms of y to find out the roots. So we've got y plus 7, subtract 2, so either y equals 2 or minus 7. If y equals 2, well y was equal to e to the power of x, so e to the power of x equals 2. If we take the natural logarithm of each side, ln of e to the power of x, that is equal to x because it's the inverse. So we get x equals ln2. Similarly, if we uh, e to the power of x, let e to the power of x equal negative 7. Now we need to look at that answer. Can that be true? Well, can we ever have a number to the power of something to give a negative number? We can't. However, if you hadn't realize that in this process, you could take the logarithm of each side and get this. Now if you look into your calculator and do ln of minus 7, you can see that there is a math error. And that is because you can't take the logarithm of a negative number because e to the power of x will never equal a negative number. 
So our only solution is that x is equal to ln2.